About to get started here. Farrah will kick off towards the railway end of the Maitland Sports Ground. And their bottle green jerseys are underway here, Peter Jolly. The Peter Mulholland Cup, exclusively live right here on Community TV. Great to have your company, folks, right across Australia. Big crowd in here. Pulled All Saints College within about 500 metres. The number one Maitland sports ground. And here they are attacking that life short side. Good tackle there by Archer. Downstairs. That's Gothard. Good scramble coming from Lukowski. Right on the 40 metre line. That ball hits the deck. It's going to be scooped up here and it's play on as they rumble there into battle. Fifth and the last. Good kick. Gothard leading the chase along with Hickling. Well, Hickling came up with it, but it's going to be a changeover. And, of course, Lucas Hickling, he made his NRL schoolboys academic team of the year. I think it was Tony in 2022, if memory serves me right. He's just improved out of sight this year. He's also making the New South Wales Country Championships rugby team. He's a rugby convert, of course. He doesn't say much, mate, but he lets his footy do the talking. So look out for him today. Yeah, looking forward to seeing some of the players there from this All Saints side, of course. A much storied school. The uh, former school back when it was St Peter's Maitland of both Andrew and Matthew Johns. Looking good early in the as we see Farrah High make their way up now. And they're taken by two defenders around about 45 metres out from their own line. So Farrah, great pedigree of stars that have come through their prestigious school over the years as well. We'll get to them as this game unravels. The fifth and the last now. Ball bouncing nicely. If a Gothard generally plays in the halves in lower grades with the Maitland Pumpkin Pickers, Gothard, but has found a home on the wing. Scored two tries in the last Schoolboys Cup game against Hunter Sports. Yeah, I've seen him in the Maitland under 19s. Gothard Petey's been outstanding for them in season 2023. And Maitland obviously almost the benchmark there. Lakes United leading that competition and minor premiers in the under 19s in the Newcastle Rugby League as we see the ball. Make their way up through this middle corridor with a good offload there. And uh, all the Saints now taken just five metres into Farrah territory, short side. Good tackle there by Wachowski. Grabbed him on the second occasion. Fifth and the last. Upward. Oh, What's he going to do here? Stands in the tackle. The defence swarms on him. Thanks to Logan Spinks, it's going to be a changeover. 30 out from the, the Farrah goal line. Yeah, a little bit of an experience there, I think, from All Saints. I saw another number seven, Harrison Thrift, calling for the football on the short side there. Probably looking to punch a low grubber into that corner, but the opera to go open side and probably the wrong decision in hindsight. Probably something that we'll see their coach, Peter Stevens, address. Their coach, rather, uh, Chris Brennan, address there at halftime. Farrah now with the football. Up over the halfway and a good, strong run there. That man there in the green headgear. The number eight for, for Farrah, of course. So Henderson. Henderson. Yes, mate. Tell you what, Jordan Hamlin goes all right too, doesn't he? Certainly does, Pete. Long drifter. Here's a gap. Into the gap. Tanner pins the ears back and gets there. Great try to Farrah. First try. Five minutes gone. They're up 4-0 on the, on the scoreboard. Yeah, it's a great start there from Farrah High. He sent the long ball out there from Thrift. He threw the long Harbour Bridge pass. And it went out there on that to the wing three corner, Jai Tanner. And Farrah opened the scoring. After just a few minutes of play, they lead four points to nil. And uh, Pete, of course, if you're just joining us, it's uh, our first match, of course, Hunter Sports High prevailing in that one. 18 points to 14 over the Central Coast Sports College. Be able to read all about that one, of course, in tomorrow's Daily Telegraph by clicking on their website, dailytelegraph.com.au. And of course, not just 
and a season long coverage of NRL Schoolboys Cup, but the best journalists covering a great rugby league competitions right across the land can be found at the Daily Telegraph. This kick, Pete's going to be from round about 28 metres out, right on the touching goal line here. Don't think this one's going to have the distance, Pete. Just falling short. Yeah, he sort of just couldn't quite under that one. The score remains Farrah 4. All Saints Maitland nil. And I'm just looking around here at the complex, Tone, for all of our viewers that have clicked onto our live stream right now. who may not be familiar with the Maitland Sports Ground. We've got a, a grandstand here, probably, you know, two, 3,000. I think we're at near capacity. We're shooting and broadcasting from the from the concourse area. And I've just got to say, the atmosphere here created by both teams, but particularly the All Saints College that have come down here to support their boys today, absolutely spectacular. It's great to see these All Saints players get their opportunity here on the big stage. The NRL Schoolboys Cup, live on Community TV with thanks to the Daily Telegraph. As Farrah now make their way up to about the 40 metre line. And that's a good tackle over the top there from the number 10, Cody Hopwood for All Saints. Oh, nice hands. But the referee has seen a knock on amongst it, though. So a scrumble pack down. A few metres inside Farrah's half. So All Saints College with this huge crowd that have come down at lunchtime from the, from the school, just pretty much behind our broadcasting position. Fabulous facility here at the Maitland Sports Ground. Home of the Maitland Pumpkin Pickers in the New South Wales Rugby League competition. Under the Newcastle Rugby League. First attacking chance now for All Saints College of Maitland. That's the 30. That's Thompson. He's looked very dangerous with the football so far. Fletcher Thompson, he has got a pretty good turn of speed. Just currently playing grade for the Curry Curry Bulldogs in the Newcastle Rugby League competition. We wish him well today. And Pete, how good is it to see the number 16 out there too for All Saints, Vince Campbell. Good to have a good redhead, Pete. Oh, mate. Indeed. It's going to be play on here to Gothard. Knows this ground oh so well. A local junior. Plays with the pickers. Will he pick up another double today? Last tackle now. Oh, wow, how good was that from the back fence? Crashing their way over for the first try to the All Saints College. Far too big, far too strong, far too good. Well, it's a great try there from the number 10, Cody Hopwood on the Daily Telegraph replay. We'll put it down from the lid up work to the hooker, Tristan Head. He dummy one way, he showed the ball on the inside, and Hopwood came steaming on the football. He was able to beat two defenders, and All Saints hit back. They now draw it up. Four points all kick to come. Now the school captain and the team captain now, Tone, Ashton Farrell. He's a sharpshooter at goal, hasn't missed a kick for goal in about eight games. He finished off a length of the field try against Hunter Sports, which, which made the highlights. He leads from the front. School captain. Wow. What a, what a youngster. I hope you haven't put the mocker on him here, Pete, about not missing a goal, kick a goal. It's a phenomenal stat. Hasn't kick, missed a kick for goal in eight games. And they've racked up the points. And he's on his right side for goal-kicking duty. What a bird's eye view of this kick we've got, folks. He'll look to bring it back around. And this time, just to the left-hand side of the post. And right across Australia on Community TV, Peter Jolly has put the mocker on the school captain of All Saints, the halfback, Ashton Farrell. Unsuccessful that attempt at conversion. And uh, four points all here in the NRL Schoolboys Cup. And we want to read all more about today's matches and, of course, the upcoming matches in the Schoolboys Cup. You can go to dailytelegraph.com.au. And, folks, the number six today, keep a watchful eye on, on Jack Thompson. 
is the ninth pathway player. He led the Andrew Johns Cup to the grand final earlier this year. Dangerous attacking player, creative. A great kicking game. Powerful engine room through the middle too. This is where they attack right on the halfway line here with a bit of gusto. Here's Campbell. Taken downstairs here by Minsom. Big bodied forward. Here's Cody again. Recently picked it, didn't he, Tony, in the Australian schoolboys team? Yes, he was, Pete. Just continues that rich tradition for All Saints players making higher honours. As they look to go to the right to get there, did they get there? That's the question. I think he's got there, Pete. I think this could well be a try here. He's just consulting with the with the touch judge. That and they've is. given it. All Saints College, they've gone bang, bang. They've gone to the front. We can see the pass there, the start of the movement from the number six, Jack Thompson. He got it out to that man there, Isaac Robb. The final pass for Liam Richardson. And All Saints go bang, bang, back to back. They lead eight points to four. Kick to cup. Yeah. Come across from Rugby Union, Richardson. Great attacking flair that worries opposition wingers. We know that. Scored a try here against Hunter Sports with a, a big don't argue and a clinical finish. And wow, he started like he finished against Hunter Sports a few weeks ago before the school term break. He's come on in leaps and bounds in this year's competition, Liam Richardson, of yeah. course. We're going to see this kick now, Peter, from the school captain. And uh, let me tell you, they're much the more difficult one, this one, Pete. He's about 21 metres out, about five in from touch. Home crowd trying to just help put this one over. Big support here, out here today for All Saints. And right out on the touchline. Strikes it well, but just again to the right-hand side of the woodwork here, Tone. And what have we got? 8-4 game on here at Maitland. 8-4, All Saints over Farrah. Just received the uh, text message from Chris Brennan, the head coach of All Saints, asking not to discuss his goal kicker anymore, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, up from two now, but uh, no, no doubt he'll be back. It's Farrah. The proceedings back underway. And they come now off the back fence. What a storming run from the Ingol area, as you can be able to see from our pitches, folks. Now they're back out beyond the 30. Now the Peter Mulholland Cup with Peter Jolly and Tony Delaney as we head into quarterfinal football in the weeks ahead, then into the semi finals. And of course, grand final day. We wish all the schools all the almighty success in their campaign for 2023. Going for Premiership glory. Taken down there was, was Hillier. And the Knights, Harold Matt's front rower. This will bring rain. Scoop back into the possession of Farrah here, and they've come away with it. Now the referee has seen a knock-on. Knock-on on the last tackle there, Pete. It will be a change We're going to see Farrah finally get some football, Pete, and they have to work their way to their own end here. Probably been a bit disappointing so far out of their own red zone, Farrah. Known for their big forward pack, they're going to try and work it through this middle corridor. And yeah. some strong defence there from All Saints. Now, if you're just joining us on the coverage, of course, we saw Hunter Sports prevailing over Central Coast Sports College, 18 points to 14. With thanks to the Daily Telegraph, bringing you all the action here on Community TV. The NRL Schoolboys Cup. Here with Peter Jolly and Tony Delaney for this one. Uh, don't you love this time of the year as we head into the, the home straight of the Peter Mulholland Cup? Looks like all Saints come up with the football here, Peter. The number five, the try scorer. For all Saints and Lee Richardson coming up with the football. Going to see them on the attack now. Centre field around about 20 metres out from the Farrah line. So Cody works it to the line. 
That's Mitchell. Damaging lock that dominates along with many of their other front forwards. Three tries in two games for Mitchell. Angling it again towards the post. Hillier. They love, that. they love that play, Peter, don't they? Fifth and the last. Thompson goes to the end goal. Under all mighty pressure, it's going to result here in a goal line dropout. Really, good, really nice end of that set there from the 5'8". Jack Thompson just got the little kick in there. And a great chase there from All Saints Maitland. I think it's fair to say, Peter, I probably think that All Saints out enthusing Farrah in this opening stanza. Just over 15 minutes gone here in the first half. An almighty goal line dropout. 52 metres on the fly. And Hillier, the dominant ball runner. Knights of big raps on this young man. Forms a formidable partnership with his great mate Cody. Look out for that combination here this afternoon. That's better defence there from Farrah Pete. Good defence there over the top there from the number 12 for Farrah, Logan Spinks. The dummy, the show. Numbers to the left, Peter Jolly, if they can get it there. They come this way. Cody again takes them on. They'll be running around in the NRL before we know it. Thompson throws the dummy. Can he get it down? They're claiming yes, the try. The referee denies it. Held up. No try. Goodness me, Pete. Well, it was Johnny on the spot, our man with the whistle. He certainly was, Pete. There must have been a blade, in, a blade of grass rather in it. We'll see our vantage point from the competitive position here at Maitland Sports Ground. But All Saints Maitland continue to apply the pressure now. That's Hickling with the footy. Made the NRL schoolboys academic team in 2022. He's improved out of oh, sight. Offload. His head. Out the back door. Mitchell. Thompson. The kick. Was intended to go to the end goal, but Dietrich comes away with it, the live wire from the back. What a great kick there, that one from Jack Thompson. He was probably the only person that knew that one was on. But either way, Farrell now have an opportunity to work it out their own end. About 22 metres out from their own line as they're trying to work it through this middle corridor, Peter Jolly. Big crowd in, because we're playing at the home of the Maitland Pumpkin Pickers in the Tui's Newcastle Rugby League. Fabulous facility. If this is your first time watching our Peter Mulholland Cup coverage from Maitland. Now there's a gap by Farrah. They come to the fullback. There's a foot race. They swoop. Good tackle there by Gothard. It's the fifth at the last. Great run there from Jordan Hamlin. There's a penalty right in front of the sticks here. Now they need to keep it going. What a turn of pace from the number 13, Jordan Hamlin there for Farrah. Really impressive speed. I was a bit his man on the outside, then turn inside as they go on the attack now, close to the line. Driving forward there is the number eight for Farah. William Minson. Yeah. yeah, Minson. Here's a chance out the back door. Dietrich, good strong tackle. Gothard, one on one. Brilliant rugby league. So there's Thrift. Back to the left. Weatherall offloads it. Hamlin goes himself, takes a tackle, 10 metres out. Again through Wetherill. His Spinks, he guesses it up. They're getting closer here, Tony, with every run. Wetherill pivotal. He's close. Yep, he's made to play it right, a metre out. They need to come to the far right. Henderson puts the kick into the end goal area. Pressure. They're trying to dive back into the field of play. And they've done tremendously well there to be taken down five metres out from their own line. Yeah, that's better football from Farrah there. But, oh, Pete, unfortunately, I put the marker on them. They're giving away the penalty. They give all Saints the opportunity to kick their way out of their own red zone. It was better football there, though, from Farrah. Pete, really been impressed so far with the number 13 from Farrah. Jordan Hamlin, he's done some wonderful things in the offloads to number 12's Logan Spinks. He's got two quality offloads away so far in his first half. Peter Jolly's been to watch in this, in this Farrah agricultural high team. 
We see Farrah finding touch there. 30 metres out from their own line. Uh, sorry, All Saints rather. Finding touch 30 metres out from their own line. Yeah, it's been a huge day of Schoolboys Cup footy, folks. Hope you're enjoying our time for each. The schools putting on absolute splendour. Look at this. Three in there from Farrah. Lining them up and crunching them with every hit. It might be an ice bath required after that one, Peter Jolly. Tony Delaney in our commentary box. Great to have him here. The walking encyclopedia of local footy. That's it. Now the referee here. Just, just time the... off there. He's going to just made the, just trying to play it off the mark there. And he's going to call out the number 12 for a blood bin here, Pete. He's going to be assisted by the blue shirt trainer there for Farrah. Of course, the number 12 for Farrah. We spoke about him on the call, Logan Spinks, Pete. Really, really dangerous right-hand offload. He's sitting together around the corner a couple of times. Uh, no doubt some of this, you can see some of the talent scouts are out here today. Peter, I've already seen some representatives from the Sydney Roosters and the South Sydney Rabbitohs. And also from local rugby league here in Newcastle. You know, this is where the next generation will come from. As we mentioned earlier in our first match, Pete, the NRL Schoolboys Cup, a breeding ground for future NRL talent, but also for the local clubs and community clubs to find their next level of first graders as All Saints make their way now up to about 32 metres out from the Farrell line on tackle five. They come up the short side. Farrell puts in a kick, now finds Gothard. Now he puts in the kick. Now there's danger from the back here from Farrah. Did well there from the back, back out towards their own 20 metre line. Yeah, good take there from the fullback. Uh, Dietrich there for Farrah. On an easy one to pick up those in the wing grubbers, Peter. So that's Spinks. Now with the wall, of course. 18 degrees here in Maitland. Beautiful day for running rugby league. And haven't we seen just that, folks? Thrift. Short ball. Needed to be. Archer. What a shot. One on one. Credit there to Isaac. Rob. Plays footy, of course, with the pickers. Last play. Juggle. Lost. Lost by Thrift. What a relief here for All Saints College. Yeah, Farrah just starting to, starting to get a little bit better uh, possession of the football there. Unfortunately, the halfback for Farrah, number seven, Harrison Thrift, unable to handle there on the last tackle. So we're going to see a turnover take place. And the All Saints mainly will be in possession about 42 metres out from their own line. Uh, but it's fair to say one of the things you can say about Farrah, you know, right across the last 30 years, they've been known for their strong, their strength within their forwards, their forward pack. Generally tend to be bigger bodies coming through that system there at Farrah. We'll see that probably start to play into effect here in the later stages of this first half. It's all Saints continue to drive the football forward. Taken now about 30 feet, 35 metres out rather from the Farrah line. So Head distributes it again. And Cody. Got a great offload in and we know that. He bends the line with every run, gets them going forward. Fifth and the last here. All Saints College. The chip, the chase, the follow through, and taken over the dead ball line, another goal line dropout. Yep. Fantastic work there. Great set there from All Saints. All Saints Maitland. Just continue to apply the pressure on Farrah. Let's have a look at our Daily Telegraph heat map here. It's uh, territory-wise, Pete, it's around about 64% All Saints. Maitland, another attacking position. We see some great dropouts, though, Peter, off the back of Farrah, going 50-plus metres on some of them. Ah, uh, well, that one. A contested dropout on this one, and it's, it looks like it's worked for them, Pete. Looks like we might have an All Saints knock-on. It's going to be a Farrah feed here, 10 metres out from their own goal line. Centre field, the scrum set to pack down. Well, that's uh, why they, you know, they're unpredictable, Farrah Tone. Like, they just have so many tricks in their repertoire. They do, it's a very, uh, 
you know, it's a very strong move, Peter, to go for a contested possession drop out there with the pressure that they're under. And it's only 8-4, but it's fair to say that all Saints have probably had the better of the possession and territory. As we spoke about just moments ago, was Farron now worked their way. They're going to go short side here. And they're tackled in a strong tackle by three defenders. They continue to make their way, rather, up to the 40-metre line. Good run. Can hear the crowd from Farrah. Well done to their supporters and their schools. They've brought the bus loads here to Maitland this afternoon. Here's Thrift. Lukowski knows he's got to get away from that Western touchline. Henderson again. They're onside with the kick. Hamlin leading the chase. But what a beautiful catch at the back. Incredible take under enormous pressure. You must have very large hands, that young man there, Peter. I didn't think there was any chance of taking that ball, but it's a magnificent talent on display here today. Not just in this game, but our earlier match. And of course, you've just joined us. Flicked onto the coverage here on Community TV. In our earlier match, of course, it was Hunter Sports High School 18. Defeated Central, Central Coast Sports College. 14 in what was a thriller in that second half. And All Saints continue their attacking raid on the last tackle up to the halfway line. Then we're going to see a penalty, Peter. A penalty for an attempted strip. Uh, All Saints now set to go right back on the attack in this one. And don't forget, folks, tomorrow we make our way down to Pioneers Park at Malabar Tone. 12.30 on Community TV. Matraville Sports will take on Illawarra. Big couple of days right here on Community TV. Exclusively live. How, News Limited. How often we see Matraville Sports live featuring those final stages of the NRL Schoolboys Cup, Peter Jolly. Wonderful rugby league tradition at that school. So 8-4, a real grind. That's Thompson. As I mentioned, he led the Andrew Johns Cup team to the grand final. A great kicking game. Went aloud. Cody takes him on again. Plays for the Knights Harold Matz team that made the grand final as well. This time I don't think they're going to be denied. This time they've got their name up in lights. That's a try to the locals, Tony Delaney. Yeah, pretty easy, Pete, that one. That's a short ball there from the number six, Jack Thompson. I couldn't quite ID the try score there, Pete, from our broadcasting position. But we just see the wealth of possession come back. And all Saints extend their lead now. It's all points to the four, kick to come. Uh, this is this is what schoolboys footy is all about, folks. That half the school from All Saints College are in attendance here today, and the crowd surging them into this contest. And out by now, 12 to four, as we go into halftime in about three or four minutes. So it's going to be Ashton Farrell, Pete. Now, this attempt to kick a goal here is going to be about 21 metres out. Around right about 10 metres or so to the left of the uprights. Yeah, hasn't really had the kicking boots on thus far in this game. So just a nice strike on this one. Did his confidence back up? You can see them put them out to a 14 points to four lead with this attempt. Seven. The captain of All Saints College, on and off the field. What an enormous achievement, not just on the field, banging home goals like that, but away from the sporting park as well, Ashton Farrell. Good to see him uh, get that one, Peter, after you put the marker on him earlier. 16 Mate, points to four. He's had an incredible year, Tone. I mean, as I mentioned, he's been one of the, the sharp shooters of the Peter Mulholland Cup. He hasn't missed a goal until... Today's so early. Right? Yeah, until I put the marker. <laughs> Eight games he's played and kicked at 100%. That's just incredible from anyone in footy. And now they go try and go 10, they got it back. Brilliant. Brilliant work there. Picked up here by Mikowski. 
So just when you thought we were going into half time at 16 4, Farrah have the last attacking play and they love to offload, they love to entertain. Holy. Strong defensive centre. Reminds me a little bit in previous games. He's got an incredible flick in him, Tone. Back to the left. Nice. They're keeping it alive. Spinks distributes it. Tanner forward. Forward pass to Tanner. The last pass to Tanner was about those forward people. We just saw again another great offload from the second row forward for Farrah Agricultural College. That man there in the number 12 jumper, Logan Spinks. Peter, I think he's probably been one of their better forwards so far in this first half. As we see half time being called here at the Maitland Sports Ground. And it's all been All Saints College in this first half, Peter Jolly. They lead Farrah Agricultural 16 points to four. All Saints running towards the railway end of the Maitland Sports Ground. And we're back underway. Farrah with first use of the football here in this second half. And of course, you can read about all of the schoolboy rugby league players, and we've put a list together of the top 50 over nearly four decades. Did I make the list, Pete? Um, not that particular list. <laughs> if we were doing a top 500, you'd probably just sneak I'll into like that to one. Scrape so. in there, that's, all right. that's okay, I'd, mate. I'd be happy with that. But mate, Farrah make their way now up over their own 30 meter line. So a better set for them to start this match, Peter. I think they need to be first to score and find their way back into this contest. Of course, I thought it was all all Saints in that first half. So ten points is the margin. In favour of All Saints Maitland. This is the fifth and it's the last here. They've come to the halfway line and beyond. Look for that kick. Good one too. The chase is good. Tanner, he's got it back. He's going to get there. That's a try. Well, the bounce of the football has proved to be what has scored the first try to Farrah in the second half. They're up by four. Well, there you go. Well, we spoke about half time, Pete, and earlier in the coverage that Farrah needed to be first to score in this second half. They've jumped us that. I think it was the number six for Farrah and Charlie Henderson who got the bounce. And Farrah Agricultural College back on the ball with this one. They trail 14 points to eight kick to come. That's exactly the start they were hoping for. You can see Peter Stevens, their coach down the touchline, getting behind that one. And Farrah right back into this match. 14 points to eight kick to come. Well, that bounce was just pivotal. Set up beautifully. Chasing, but to no avail. Farrah clawing their way back early in the second half. Going to see the kick here from Logan Spinks. But I thought he was tremendous in that first half. He's around about 23 metres out, about 15 in from touch. Geez, I was impressed with his first half, Pete. The offload, strong runner of the football. He's now got this attempted goal, 67% on our Daily Telegraph kick predictor. Bringing it back around, Kenny, just to the right-hand side. One waved away, the score remains. All Saints still in control, 14 points to eight, just six points to the margin, Peter Jolly. Game on here. And just a reminder, all the action of the semi-finals and grand final of the Peter Mulholland Cup will be exclusively live right here on Community TV in the months ahead. Great initiative. Multiple cameras on grand final day. As we see the short kick. As Farah come back away with it. Hickling in there in the tackle. The rugby convert, of course. Just lets his footy do the talking. Right back on the halfway. Lock forward now in Hamlin. Always gets the job done. Here's Henderson. Dice Rich from the back. Yeah, the referee's about to stop play here, Peter. Got a player now needing attention for Farah. And whilst we've got a play here, we've got a, a huge event in local Newcastle Rugby League coming up on Saturday between the Maitland Pumpkin Pickers and the South Newcastle Lions. We talk about events. Well, 
I'll tell you what, doesn't come much bigger than this, apart from our own very grand final day. Sleepy's day at Townsend Oval, so if anyone's outside of the region that wants to come along and watch Newcastle Rugby League at its best, make sure you head down to Townsend Oval for Sleepy's day on Saturday between the Lions and the Pickets. Yes, for the uninitiated Pete Sleepy's day, of course, started by former Premiership winning winger Peter Sleep. Won the grand finals with 88 and 89 for the South Newcastle Club. And uh, days aimed around a charity thing where they tackle cancer, quite literally. With uh, thousands of families right across, not just Newcastle and the Hunter region, but right across Australia being helped by the Sleepies Foundation. So, of course, yet again, Rugby League doing great work in the community. So just some concern here for the Farrah player. He's laying flat on his back at the moment, so he can't quite pick up his number. Just see getting all his vitals checked by the orange shirt trainer provided here by the NRL and obviously the blue shirt trainer for Farah. So he's in the very best of care at the moment. Just looks like he might be making his way up onto his feet potentially. Looks like it's been the number four receiving attention. Coburn battle for Farah. I think he's had a very good first half, Pete, Coburn. He's rising to his feet now and he's obviously undergoing the head injury assessment there from the trainer. Being asked to stand on one leg. More than likely, and now this is the thing, Pete, about these HIAs, he's probably being asked to announce the uh, months of the year backwards or something, and I didn't know if I could do that completely. Uh, anyway. Oh. He looks, he looks to be going a little bit better, Pete, but... Uh, and just while we've got a, a stoppage here in play, tomorrow, all the live action from Malabar. You don't want to miss this one at 12.30, featuring Matraville Sports High and Illawarra. So that's coming your way tomorrow at 12.30. Of course, yesterday we ended up seeing in action Erindale College against Patrician Brothers of Fairfield. Cracking match that one, Peter. It was an absolute ripper. Scores galore, tries galore, and Ness is up there too. Tackles galore here. In the touch they go. Yeah. A little bit away with that pass there from the number six, Jack Thompson, on that. Oh, sorry, number six for Farrah, rather. Charlie Henderson, a little bit wayward on that occasion. Ball backwards out of the hand, but floated forward. But we're going to see that ball go on the touch, and all Saints will have another opportunity with possession. They're going to have possession around about 16 metres out from their own line. First use of the football at some time for all Saints. we will see them working through this middle corridor as they make their way up to their own 20 metre line. Anyone's going. Stay with us, folks. The Peter Mulholland Cup. The only place to watch it is right here on Community TV. That's for sure. This is Mitchell. Out of the match in their last game against Hunter Sports, Mitchell. In the mould. Maybe Ken Murray can play the ball. One to watch out for, that's for sure. Following in the tackle, up, yeah. Distributing it nicely. And the ball just goes through the bread casket there of Isaac Robb. Cody Hopwood again there with the offload. Peter, I thought he was probably their best player in that first half. And he continues to do some wonderful things here. In this second period, fortune error there from All Saints is going to see scrum pack down centre field. It'll be Farrah Agriculture receive the football about 30 metres out from their own line. No real urgency from either side here to pack the scrum. It's Farrah again. Bright sparked an attack. They'd love to come to that edge. Look out for the likes of Dietrich. Tanner. Look out for him when he gets going, if allowed. He wants the ball now, Tanner. He's on the left. They go away from him. Good tackle there by Thompson. So a couple of metres in from touch. Weatherall spinning it back again now. In the middle of the park, thrift. 
He's a great organiser through Pete. He's just setting up this shape here on the right-hand side. Attacking play, Thrift. Taken into the ground, right on the 30. 15 metres in from touch. As our pitchers take you into the heat of the battle, up it goes. Torpedo punt. Always difficult to handle these ones. Who wants to come up with it? All Saints College. Driven whilst drifting into the lush turf here, right on their own 20. A little bit of a different one there, Pete. Neither team really wanted to contest that football. Look at this. Some driving defence here from Farron. That's why they need more of that, Pete, if they're going to get back their way into this contest. Yeah, Follington has been in there all day long. There he is again in 10, helping his prop out in William Minson. He's always going after defenders, that's for sure. He's been pretty strong so far, Minson. It's good metres up the middle there from All Saints. Starting to get some good play the balls here, Peter. You can see the momentum starting to turn back in favour of All Saints College Maitland. Yeah, they're looking the sharp goods here, aren't they? They're going to go all the way. Beautiful work. The big dummy, the sprint towards the line. And All Saints College continue their role here in the Peter Mulholland Cup. Yeah, the try there for All Saints. Back on the outside there, it went to Isaac Rock. He was able to dodge one, two, came back on the inside and made his way around to that position underneath the posts. And All Saints get the try they need to help now extend their lead. 18 points to eight, kick to come. Yeah, to the rupturous roar of the crowd. Great turn of speed there, Isaac. Rob Peter, I thought. Mate, he's a local? I believe so, mate. For the Isaac. pickers, I think. Yes, I think uh, he might be a relative of the great Brian Rob, the former Curry Curry fullback, who was part of those 91-92 premierships for the Bulldogs. So here's Ashton Farrell. Certainly giving him a working out with his kicking boots today, Farrell. School captain, team captain, does it all. Well, 17 years of age. You're right, Pete. He probably needs to practice after he put the mocker on him earlier. <laughs> Mate, I'm still throffing at the bit. You know, he finished off that length of the field try against Hunter Sports a few weeks ago. Absolute dynamic game he had that day. And now he's got the conversion. And Banks at home. Makes no mistake with that one, Pete. And All Saints now lead 20 points to eight. And, uh, it's now going to be do or die for Farrah Agricultural, Pete. They're going to have to find their way back into this match. If they're going to do so, I think it needs to be one of the stronger parts of their game is their defence. So look out for a big defensive set here from Farrah. Boot to ball, goes down to the 10, well caught. That ball was going at an almighty bullet sort of range angle. Straight into the bread basket. 16, 17 years of age, these fellas. Bright rugby league futures to come locally. A pathway system, of course. And then NRL dreams. Look at this. Awesome. Big driving defence there from Farah. The number 12, he's had an outstanding game. Pete, really been impressed with him in Logan Spinks, both in attack and defence. But all Saints, they continue to keep coming through this middle third, Peter Jolly. So head dishes it back to the left. Farrell, diffused around the line, Rob offloads. They're coming away from that touch line. They knew that, that they had to stay in the field of play, and they did. Exactly that. Great eyes up football there from the number seven, Ashton Farrell. Thompson kicking. The chase is good. Can they get it back here? They're going to get Tanner. And can he stay in the field of play? And the answer to that is only just. So he's done a great job there, Tanner, to stay in the field of play, of course. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Here, I just missed that. Uh, I see a penalty here for inside the 10. Uh, a relieving penalty. Farah. Going to see them now take possession about 30 metres out, 35 metres out from their own line. 
Need to put something together here, Farah. Well, who do they look to to provide that extra spark? Weatherall, good run. Over the halfway line now. Center of the field. There he is again, Darcy Weatherall. Here's Hooley. So they've come down to the 30. Taking it forward again, Minson. Three men in the tackle. Standing in the tackle until now. Strong okay. defence there. Spinks again. Finding his 5'8 there in Charlie Henderson. Last tackle now. Spinks. Still has it. Offloads it. Oh, the referee is going to say, boys, it's yeah. a changeover. He's going to say not play that. But what about the involvement there, Pete? You know, you're two rocks in a row for the number 12, Logan Spinks. Obviously, he was able to step back and get that pass back on the inside from his fullback. Then, obviously, receiving the ball on the last tackle as well. So, very versatile. The second row war forward, rather, from Farah. He's got a good passing game. And he obviously displayed a bit of a kicking game there as well. And no doubt a player to watch in the future. Number 12 for Farrah Logan Spinks. As we see All Saints now. Doing the hard yards, making up to their own 20-metre line. Yeah, through Isaac Robb there again. Knows this part of the world. Very well, Isaac. Playing with the local team. They with the pickers, as we mentioned. Now we see them crossing the halfway line. Good surging run. Determined run. Lifting with every ball run over halfway. They're up quickly here. Thompson drifts it over the head. O'Connor, can he offload it? It's the last tackle here. It's going to be a changeover. Yeah, not quite the end of the set that I think All Saints would have been looking for, Pete. It just sort of... Sort of almost keeping Farrah in the end of that game. We'd like to see a long driving kick and a, a, a set start off with some defence. It hasn't been the uh, hasn't been the case. Barry, they came down, of course, on the bus last night. Stayed in the local area. Not the first time that they've played here at the Maitland Sports Ground. I know there's a big audience up in Farrah watching this today in the school auditorium. Well, it's been such a strong rugby league school there, Farrah Agricultural. Faint kick. Well, the bounce Awkward. is not favourable. Nice. A great chip chase, and that man's up there again leading the chase, Pete, the number 12. Logan Spinks. Again yeah. there on Gothard time. Certainly did. Some driving defence now. On Farrah. Richardson. There's Gothard. No strange to the try line. Two tries last time. They went around in the schoolboys cup against Hunter Sports. Just starting to win the ruck here, Farrah. Finally, we're starting to see their forwards start to make some inroads in this contest. Inside the 40, the kick. Dietrich. The ball's going away from him, but now he's come back away with it. He's trying to beat the winger in Gothard. Disappointing kick chase from all Saints here. Put only a few players really chasing the field that football. And uh, we probably need to look for... Maybe they start to shift the ball a little bit wider now, Farrah. They have got some shape set up here to the left. Back to their prop. A running offloading prop. Don't you love that? Well done, William Minson. That's a bit of spark. Able to get it away there to Tanner, wasn't he? Here's Spinks now. Drawing in three defenders, including Hillier. So right on the 40. A little chip and chase here now from Hamelin. We had the right intention, but Hillier, talking of props, has come up with a great classic catch there, Tony. Yeah, I think the... Uh the recipient might have been just a little bit foot, too, foot, foot tall for that chip and chase there, Peter Jolly. And uh, All Saints going to have the ball now as they make their way, edge their way with a big, strong run. Good offload there as well. well. Here's Thompson again. Currently playing grade for the Curry Curry Bulldogs. Very creative half fullback. He also can play a bit of halfback too. The fullback today in Fletch Thompson. 
But back on their own goal line here, as we see now All Saints College kick it into that in goal. Farrell leads the chase. The ball's going into touch, but over the sideline in goal results in a 20 metre tap. Yeah, to tough, tough to wait those kicks there, Peter Jolly. But uh, Farrell now have an opportunity for a seven tackle set. And uh, they're going to need every single tackle, but the way All Saints have been defending thus far. Now, if you just clicked onto the coverage, live on community TV with thanks to the Daily Telegraph. It's All Saints Maitland 20 leading Farrah 8. Of course, in the earlier match, Hunter Sports High School 18 defeated Central Coast Sports College 14. And congratulations to them heading into the quarterfinals. And deep within semi final football. And who knows? Good hands from battle. Taken nicely here by Richardson. Up it goes. Henderson says, follow this. And that's exactly what they do. They need to. The ball's on the deck. Referee. Be real the knock on, Pete. And this is probably Farrah's best attacking opportunity so far this half. They're going to have a chance to work with the football. There's still plenty of time left on the clock here for Farrah. They are going to make a game of it. The scrum's going to pack down now about... 20 metres out from the All Saints line centre field. Yeah, 13 minutes remaining. A huge double header. What an event for Maitland. Crowds responded. Facility superb. So the scrum pack down here, right on the 10 metre line. We're just waiting here for uh, looks like Christian Head here to, to go into the scrum as Farah work it down forward through Hooley. So Weatherall dummying his way close. He's got he's there. Done. I think he's in. He thinks he's in. The crowd thinks he's in. And the auditorium back up of the Farah school thinks he's in. Tries given. Ten minutes remaining. It's not all over yet. Well, Pete, you can see it here on the Daily Telegraph replay. The crafty number nine, Darcy Weatherall. The footwork, the speed, the body position. He slammed it down. And he's brought Farrell right back into this one. All Saints Maitland 20, Farrell 12, kick to come. Uh, don't you love broadcasting amongst the fans here at the Maitland Sports Ground? What can't the fans do this is what it's all about not just the yes it is about the rugby league we get that but in this day and age the iphones are out they're instagramming community tv with the pictures the selfies in the crowd what about this great stuff but we've got a game on here farrah with 11 minutes remaining looking to bang home the try and they do Spinks has got it, Pete. 20 points to 14. Game on here at the Maitland Sports Ground. Just over 10 minutes remaining here in this one. You can see the Farrah crowd start to lift their team. Of course, not just the ones here in attendance, but the ones back there at the high school. We'll be tuning this match, no doubt, live there. Some uh, well-needed time off school for some of those students, and uh, they're cheering the green and gold home in this one. And the All Saints College... Well, they're in the ground. Well, Peter, I think the key for all Saints here is they can't really afford to the, uh, play conservative. They've been a little bit more conservative in this latest part of the second half. And probably seen Farah. It's definitely been a tale of two halves like our earlier match. As Farah now. Look to cart the ball back up and a good strong run there, taking him out to their own 20 metre line. So six points. Is that enough? All Saints College to hang on here. Time will tell. Oh. Farah. You can hear that up in the auditorium of Farah. Memorial Agricultural High School. Now they've got a penalty. The pendulum is turning here. The pendulum is definitely turning. Logan speaks. What about that fend, Pete? He was on the front on contact. He fended him away. Like he was just trying to open a door or something, Peter. He's going to find touch as well. He does it all, Logan Spinks. He's in a fine touch, 40 metres out now from All Saints line. Pressure now on All Saints. 
Farah continue to make their way forward in this match. Hasn't had many touches, this bloke, has he? Nathaniel Follington. But when he does, he's making great impact. So there's Weatherall. Thrift. Dietrich offloads. Inside the danger zone of All Saints College. So back away for Hamlin. Henderson. Henderson still going. He's telling them to come after him. Weatherall. Hamlin. Spinks. Spinks! Spinks! Can he do it? He's on his back. But he's held up. It's no try. No try. No try to Logles. Spinks. Logan Spinks has looked the most likely so far, Pete. He's bust the line almost every time he's had the football. He's going to be forced to play it here. Ten metres out from the line, just to the left-hand side of the uprights. Here come Farrah. They're only a prowl, that's for sure. And the pendulum, is it swinging back into their favour? Drop down on the last. If they can't go from dummy half, they'll put in that kick. Was that knocked down here by All Saints College? Well, it came off them. The referee here said it wasn't played that time. Yes, wasn't played out, Pete. He actually just got a foot to the ball, but was able to catch it. And let me tell you, he wouldn't look out of place at first slip in this great corner on Boxing Day, Peter Jolly. And speaking of the crowd, you'd think the atmosphere here was 80,000, like at the Boxing Day cricket match. Here's Cody. What an impact he continues to have for All Saints College. Seven minutes remaining. Seven minutes for All Saints College. And but seven minutes for Farrah. Trouble here for Farrah, Pete, the number 12, Logan Spinks, down in back play. Being assisted by the trainer at the moment, but he's definitely been the spark for Farrah. And uh, so far, I'm not sure if he'll take any further part in this contest, but he's just being assessed by the trainer. So he's going to be, referee has said at this stage, play on, but Spinks is going to come into the battle here in a minute if they don't get him out of the way. So what do they do here? Yeah, I think probably the touch judge will probably initiate to the referee once he starts to get within 10 metres of the player. It's part of the NRL safe play laws. But just as I mentioned, Pete, within 10 metres, you can see time off here as we see blue shirt training for Farrah Agricultural High School. He's going to check out the number 12, Logan Spinks, and Seems like he might have done a head injury assessment here, but it looks like Spinks is going to return to his usual spot on the left edge of the ruck. So good news for Farrah fans. Logan Spinks going to continue in this match as we come now, Pete. How long to go now, Peter? Just can't quite see it from my position here, around about six minutes or so. Yeah, mate, 53 seconds and 53 minutes gone. So what have we got? About six and a half minutes remaining. At the Maitland Sports Ground as Thrift is looking around for his attacking winger. Finds Archer. Fifth and the last. High kick. Tanner's coming through. But Richardson, don't argue with him, comes up with a clinical finish inside his danger zone. Big defensive set oh. here from Farrah. They've just responded with a big shot there. It was Correct. the number 10 and the number 14, respectively, for Farrah and Follington and Hawkins. That big defense there, Peter Joel. Well, Farrah need to get the ball back here. But All Saints continuing. They surge towards the halfway line. Straight to the fullback. That's a good defensive set for Farrah Pete with good hit pressure to win the set. And then it might be able to see an attacking opportunity coming up. Try and find some football in the half of All Saints as now they drive it forward up over the 50s for that man number five for Farrah and Giant Tanner. He yeah, knows his way to the try line, Tanner. No doubt the wingers will come into it if allowed. Short ball. Here's Hamlin. Some big strides being made here by Farrah now. Number nine, Darcy Weatherall's been outstanding for them, just adjudicating things around the ruck for Farrah. 
So six points separating Farah and All Saints College. Farah working their way inside the 10. It's the fifth, it's the last. Weatherall goes for a dig from dummy half, but he will surrender the ball. It's a change over here, back to the home side, the All Saints College. Yeah, Hooley taking that run out of dummy half there, Pete, and a little bit disappointing there, probably looking for a better end of that set for Farah. They have to do some big things here in defence, maybe try and force a turnover as the clock is now working against them. Line speed and good first contact, all important here in this set. As we see all states win the ruck and start to get a bit of momentum now as they make their way up with a quick offload over the 30 metre line. They're taking in some strong defence there from Farah. So there's only three and a half minutes remaining in the match. Hanging on to a six point lead, All Saints College. The crowd urging them to victory. This is Campbell. It's a quick play the ball. Look for the kick outside the 40. Away from the fullback. He's got a turn. Dietrich fields it. Looks up. The chases are coming through from Farrell. And now they try and throw him back towards his end goal area. And they nearly achieved it here. Great kick chase there from All Saints Maitland. That's the sort of defence that you need in this part of the game. Defence wins these types of matches, Peter Jolly. And we're seeing it now from All Saints. 90 seconds, folks. What a battle. What a double header. Community TV bringing you all the live action of the Peter Mulholland Cup. Of course, Peter, if you want to see more from today's game, and read about all the stories and the players behind those stories. Oh, you can click on to the dailytelegraph.com.au for all your NRL schoolboys and NRL and NRLW action right throughout the season. So here's Liam Richardson. Finds the arms here of Harrison Thrift. And they drive him back towards his own in goal. Two minutes remaining on the official clock here at the ground, folks. Two minutes for All Saints College. Farah, what do they need to do to come up with the ball? The answers. What a workhorse. What a workhorse. Tone, this bloke. It's Cody. Certainly is, but he's got through a mountain of work here, particularly in this second half, doing the real hard stuff, Cody Hopwood. Hopwood. Well, Saints now, time is on their side. Do have a player down in back play, which may see play stopped very shortly. Kick is high. Oh, nicely diffused by Tanner. So this is the equation, Tone. Two minutes remaining, and we've got time off on the community TV scoreboard. Yeah, All Saints player down there in the background. So Cody Hopwood for All Saints College. I mean, for our viewers that have just clicked on Tone, recently picked in the Australian schoolboys team, which continues the rich tradition of All Saints players, doesn't it pretty much, playing, making higher honours. And he's been associated with the Harold Matz team that made the grand final. Wow, this bloke will be running around. I'm sure in the NRL before we know it, Cody Hopwood. But we've got time off here with just over one and a half minutes remaining. It's just yeah. really important here that the mental focus and attention to detail here is here for all Saints. Really important this period of the match, Pete. You can do all the hard work for 78 minutes and it can come undone the last two, so. Just making sure they don't give away any silly penalties here, All Saints. Just make their tackles. Get through their work. They need to have good line speed. Farrah now. Try and find their way back into this contest. Good tackle by Laird Young. Plays his footy to the pickers. Wow, that reminded me of a Trevor Gilmeister type of defensive player. It looks like an error here from Farrah Pete. Uh, some Farrah players now remonstrating with the referee and unfortunately he's not going to change his mind on this occasion and that might be the play that does it for All Saints. Some big heavy contact oh. coming in there from the All Saints forwards. Well, Laird Young, mate. 
Trevor Gilmeister. They just, just cut him in half. Certainly did. Absolutely Pete. ripped into 30 him. 30 seconds with uh, Farrah looks like a no rule. You know, we're going to see the scrum pack down there, centre field. Referee has blown time off. Just under 30 seconds. 17 seconds in actual fact remaining. All Saints Maitland with the feed. They just probably need to dive the football here, Pete. Nothing silly, no long passes. No risky things. Here's Rob working his way inside the 10. Much better second half from Rob, Pete. So eight seconds remaining. Cody Hopwood, a player of the future. Is that the last tackle? It is, maybe. The referee, has he heard the siren? He does now. It's all over. Well done to All Saints College of Maitland. They've been able to hang on here in the community TV scoreboard by 20 to 14 over Farrah. What a game of football.